Okay, so I'm going to attempt a 10 minute card and I thought I'd do a video just for fun. Um, I don't, I have an idea of what I want to do, but I'm not quite sure if it'll work out. So, um, just going to wing it here. I have my timer and, um, I'm going to use bigger blooms. I'm actually going to attempt to mask off a sentiment from one of these. I have some studio calico paper and then some white cardstock. I also have this little sentiment from my cameo. I cut this the other day and never used it, so I'm going to use it today. So the first, oh, I guess I better hit start first. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is attach this um, piece of cardstock or piece of paper here to my card base. I saw that Christina K has a card on her blog today with a tilted um, card front, sort of like this, and so I want to case that idea today. I'm going to cut down this cardstock here, probably about a half inch down. We'll see what that does. Oh, yep, yeah, that's perfect. So I think what I want to do is attach this, and then I'm going to mask a sentiment. Um, let's see. I think first I need to use or mask this sentiment off. I want to use the your in this your suite. So I need to do that before I attach it to the card. Oh, let me look at that again. So if that's tilted, and this is sort of maybe like this. Okay. I'm going to use post-it notes. I have this super fancy post-it note holder that somebody gave to me. I had to show you. I'm going to... Stick that there and here. Mommy? What's up? I can't find the post it thing. Okay. I'll be there in a minute. Let me finish this. What about my card? You we'll make your card when we get back from swimming lessons. Okay. It's swimming lesson day at my house. So I'm gonna line that up right here and stamp. Hopefully there's no extra black. Oops, that looks pretty good. Brody, go get your towel. Find a towel. Yes, I'm squeezing in this 10 minute video right before we head out the door. Okay, so that's pretty much how I want it to look. I'm going to take this and pop it up on cardstock. I have this ginormous roll from Lowe's. Thanks to Suzanne. Get my big scissors here and coat the back of this thing. I don't like saggy, um, saggy middles. They have to be pop nice and popped up. So I put a ton on. Do you guys have these things floating all around your house? I do. They're everywhere. Okay. So I'm going to attach this with that, making that sentiment straight or as straight as I can. And then I'm going to use Designer Dries Clear Adhesive. I've had this forever. Hopefully it'll come out okay. And it, like it says, dries clear, so if anything comes out the other side, it's um, you never see it. Oop, bubble. Okay. 
So now I'm going to place this right there. And I'm going to take a piece of cardstock and just press that down. Hopefully it all sticks. And then if any comes out, then I just take the corner of the cardstock and just scrape it off. And then again, just kind of blot it. And usually that cleans it up real nice. Alright. So now I'm going to use some white, um, white enamel dots. This is from Freckled Fawn. I'm usually a three dot person, but there's only two sizes. I wish there was a smaller size, but I'm just going to use two today. And get some more glue here. I hope I'm videoing this so you can actually see it. Not going off the camera. Okay, you know what? I think that's it. I'll stare at it a while and see if it needs anything else. But if that is it, I'm thinking 5 minutes and 52 seconds. 53 seconds.